So I'm out on my route today, cutting properties, maintaining properties as I go. And I came across this section behind me. My, my client property is beside me over here. And I've noticed this property really looking poorly throughout the year. So I started, it was slightly weed filled. It hasn't been cut since the first time I was here in May. So there's an awful lot of, an awful lot of growth over there. In some places, the weeds are as high as my chest. I'm five foot 10, so that's like four, at least four feet high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that up for the folks that, that, that own that property or maintain that property using my Ryobi tools. And a lot of folks seem to believe that electric tools, battery operated tools that is, are not as good as gas power tools. I'm gonna to show you what I can do in an extreme situation. All I'm gonna use is my, my mower, my edger, or my, sorry, my, my, my grass trimmer, and my leaf blower. Let's go, we'll go take a look. Yeah, that is not good at all. You can see in there buried, there's a, there's a lawnmower. It's like a bit of a sad state for it, really. Somebody is, looks like they're starting to maybe cut the grass, realized how bad it was and kind of gave up and walked away. Obviously, the first thing I need to do here is make sure there's going to be nothing in there that's going to damage my equipment. So I walked through, I did a manual inspection. I'm going to go back with my edger and cut anything that looks high and that I can't see below, below the grass or weeds. You can see behind me there that definitely is going to need a second cut. It's not bad right now, obviously, compared to what it was before, but it's, it's not something that you would leave. The edges need to be cleaned up. It needs to be dropped a little bit, uh, a little bit lower. I cut it at six inches. I'm going to drop it down to about five. As I'm sure everybody knows you don't cut more than one third of the blade of grass. In this situation, there's literally no grass in that area at all. It's nothing but weeds.
Here's what it looks like now. We've got one cut in. It definitely is going to need a second cut, as you can see. Another advantage to these Ryobi 21 inch HP motors is the, is the adjustable lever. It's one lever moves all four wheels. I'm gonna lower this down. I cut it six inches. I'm gonna lower this down to about five. Not too bad, eh? Sound like a Canadian. Wait, I am a Canadian. So now two things that I need to do that I'm now that I'm finished this project. One, I need to blow off the under deck of the mower. That was a heavily weed infested area and I don't want to transfer seeds onto one of my clients on my next job. So I'll blow out the under under deck of the of the mower. The second thing I want to do, there were some some heavy uh, heavy weeds in there, thick weeds that may have taken a little bit of the sharpness off the blade of my mower. So as I'm cleaning off, after I'm done cleaning off the under deck of my mower, I will also sharpen the blade quickly. The advantage to the Ryobi system is that I can fold the handle up. It has stilts. I'll tip it up on its, on its rear end, take the battery out, blow it off. With the battery out, I'll also do a quick little sharpen of the blade.
and that's all it takes. It's not razor sharp, but it's sharp as a, as a blade that you would find on a kitchen knife. I would normally do this with a scraper. I left my scraper at home today, so a screwdriver is going to have to do. So now that I have that cleaned out, I'm not going to leave it to blow around the community or let somebody else pick it up. I'll pick it up, bag it, and take it with me. Not too bad, right? As I said, I don't really know anything about the client. But I do suspect that there's a reason why they haven't been able to get out and take care of that section of the property. I'm not going to go knock on the door and find out. I'm not going to talk to neighbors. It's not really relevant. What is important is the community now has a stretch of property that doesn't look overgrown. Those 40 volt tools obviously did their job as I knew that they would. Seeing how I run a lawn care company using their IOB 40 volt platform, not bad. Please take time to subscribe to this channel. You'll find more Ryobi, Ryobi demonstrations, tool demonstrations. You'll find helpful lawn care tips and some landscaping tips as well. There is one more thing to do before I move on to my next client's property. That tree that I found buried amongst the weeds can't stay on the side of the road. So I'm gonna pick it back up. I'm gonna put it onto that property and I'll follow up with the city as they'll come and pick stuff like that up. We had quite a windstorm uh, about five days ago and we had a windstorm about a month before that and we had another windstorm before that as well. A lot of damage has happened within, within the city. So I'll pick that up, I'll set it on the side of the road and they'll come by and remove it. I would normally cut a tree like that into 36 inch sections. The city's yard waste program picks up sections of wood, bags of bags of yard waste for free if they are, as I said, 36 inch or smaller. With the windstorm that I talked about earlier, they will pick up damaged trees such as this and, and they, will, they will get rid of them. They'll, they'll compost them. 